Alright guys, welcome back to Black Country Month Part 4 as my, uh, for my monthly special. Excuse me, god dang. <laughs> so, as I said, the last video of the Black History Month will be Kelly Race Thing, uh, with the Tinker Combo. We're gonna play a story mode, and man, uh, all I gotta say is, I can't play a Tinker Combo to save I can't, I can't play Tinker Combo to Combo. I'm not a fan of charged characters. I'm just not. I hate charge characters. I really do. If you had like you know dragon motion uh, combos, the dragon motion moves, that would have been a lot better. It would have been. After 20 years as the heavyweight champion of the world, the unstoppable TJ Combo lost his title. TJ was spoiled by years of winning and willing to do anything to stay the champ. So he secretly approached Ultratech for illegal cybernetic Ooh. augments. If the augments became public knowledge, TJ would be banned from the ring. The augments put him back on top, and he enjoyed years as the champ. And then the day came when Ultratech finally asked for payment. Yeah, he got pissed back. was unveiling <laughs> their newest weapon, the Fulgore, a robot super soldier that could effectively replace any human combatant for a hefty price, making Ultratech billions. To prove the Fulgore's dominance to the world, Ultratech set up a fight between the robot and the world's greatest human fighter, TJ Combo. Ultratech just needed one favor from TJ. Throw the fight. Gonna do it? You gonna do it? Gonna do it, TJ? You gonna throw the fight? Oh! Right, I wanna want get the want intro. Oh! Why is this bull going to be mad? Oh, you know what? I think they're set to, uh, hold on. Um... Uh, I know why they're why they're like that. Hold on. <laughs> Can't change difficulty right here though. I don't want that. No, I know why. Cause I had it set to um uh, the hardest difficulty on um uh, on um uh, during the gameplay. Cause I was, I, I would watch um. CPU matches for the hell of it, but okay, let me watch the CPU matches. And I said to like, you know, freaking, um, freaking like, hardest hard difficulty, so I didn't change that. Welcome. Yeah, it's just so long, that's so yeah. That looks like my ass right there. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck's going on right now? So, yeah, that was, uh, that was years as the heavyweight champion of the world, the unstoppable oh, TJ this. Combo lost his title. TJ was spoiled by years of winning and willing to do anything to stay the champ. So he secretly approached Ultratech for illegal cybernetic augments. If the augments became public knowledge, TJ would be banned from the ring. The augments put him back on top. And he enjoyed years as the champ. And then the day came when Ultratech finally asked for payment. Ultratech was unveiling their newest weapon, the Fulgore, a robot super soldier that could effectively replace any human combatant for a hefty price, making Ultratech billions. To prove the Fulgore's dominance to the world, Ultratech set up a fight between the robot and the world's greatest human fighter, TJ Combo. Ultratech just needed one favor from TJ. Throw the fight. Makes fucking sense. It makes freaking sense while I was in my act. I'm like, yo, what the hell's going on right now? It makes complete freaking sense now. Think you got what it takes to beat the champ? Come on! Oh. 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 Oh.
CJ. I don't know if I can see I truly really don't. This is the first born combo fight. Over, stop blocking that. Trash as gameplay for TJ Cobble. Complete trash. <laughs> as punishment for winning the fight, Ultra like exposes TJ to cheat, cheat and rip out of his arguments. TJ vows revenge and starts doing calling after Ultra Lacky. Like okay, let's go. Payback time. Now we're on the revenge floor now. I love this music right here. <laughs> Ouch. Come on, come on. I got hands. See, you got hands. See, you got hands. Oh, oh, block that. who is also on an ultra text uh, opera desk comes into the scene and mistakes TJ for an ultra tech major. Target yeah, hey, we're still fighting at my favorite stage. Awesome. And we got fun, baby. This should be quick. 
sorry, we're good. I gotta hurt you right now. Where's Orchid and convince her that he is also on an he, he is also an enemy. Oh, like Orchid wants to see Alger Sack go down. So she is, excuse me, wanted to help TJ for as long as their aims are the same. Yes. I want to intro. We're combo. Can't block, it, can't block everything, Spinal. Can't block everything. Oh. I love his laugh. Did I offend you with my, with my first armor breaker? 
I couldn't tell if that was me or, or the computer. I could not tell. So everything's going on at once. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Final reveals, I was just like, it's making a new bit of super soldiers. Time for revenge. TJ finally sees his chance to destroy something that I was just like, values. I would not want to be you today. Yeah, fight, Cinder! Shit, Yeah, let's go. Sender ain't, ain't nothing but a huge uh, push one. That's what he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah! Damn chip. Good thing for chip. <laughs> I should play this game again, but I miss playing. Oh. That's a good combo. There's a legion's proof Frickle, and he reveals the location of the super soldier lab. The allies head to the lab, or Norka begins to have a plan himself. Let me find all the bad guys. <laughs> hey, Rick, what's up? Get the shit out of a dinosaur. Kill the breaker! And I fucked it up. Richter, kill! the first killing thing, uh, the story for that one, TJ defeats, uh, Reptile. Uh, pretty much, so pretty much in number two, some of the characters killed up other characters because why he didn't see the number two. So the story is pretty much, you know, TJ kills Reptile in the, uh, 
first goes. That's how really see Rift or second second goes. But Killer Instinct 2 was was the bottle, so you know we don't talk that we won't talk about that. <laughs> DJ wanted to show Ultratech what loss felt like. Maybe then he would be satisfied. But his fans and his titles are still gone, and Ultratech has barely a scratch. In the hatchery, Orchid finds data that reveals a crucial weakness in Ultratech's headquarters, the Pinnacle. The recent attacks on Ultratech have left their forces scattered and the Pinnacle vulnerable. <laughs> if Orchid can break into their headquarters, she could broadcast Ultratech's secret projects to the public, but she needs a distraction to get past the Pinnacle's elite guards, the newly upgraded Fulgore Mark II. TJ never could say no to a rematch. <laughs> Rematch with a better, uh, better, uh, vulgar, uh, weapon. TJ and Orca infiltrate the pinnacle. TJ confronts his upgrade rival as Orca slips into the shadows to execute her plan. Fulgore lost some weight. Punch! Punch! Kick! What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Let's punch the kick in the right now. Let's go! Stop blocking! I don't think I've got at least 10 hits. Ouch. Punch! Fuck a sandwich. I'm not letting a robot room like this right now. Ooh! Bro. Cyborg part smoking at his feet. Uh, TJ wonders if, if, if that was the best Ultra has to offer. It wasn't. Oh, I choose not to evolve. Come on, robot lady. Oh, uh, my title. Stole my title, bitch. Yo, let's go. Well, screw that! What do I do? I have no what I'm doing. What I'm doing right now? I push this robot stuff. Yo! I got hands, bitch. Oh, I freaking wasted that. Thanks for giving me these mechanical arms. I appreciate it. Oh, 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 man, that's a hit. Combo breaker. Oh, oh. Gotcha. Oh. Stomp you. Throw you and stomp you. Oh. I'm for a combo. All right. Almost dead. Ah. 
it would be better to do a combo against, uh, um, Ari, you know? Yeah! But, but that's a pretty big dude, though, so I'm not kidding. The mission is a success, but the pinnacle goes on high alert, cutting off TJ and Orchid's escape route. Just as it appears they may yet defeat every enemy in the pinnacle, they are overwhelmed and barely escape with their lives. Orchid's broadcast reveals unregulated weapons programs using alien technology and DNA tampering. The media accuses Ultratech of treason and rampant human rights violations, mm -mm. but without physical evidence, Ultratech denies the charges. The public's perception of Ultratech has been damaged. Yep. With its stock in a free fall, the company goes dark to prevent fanning the flames of the crisis. Wishing to remain covert, Orchid allows TJ to take the credit for exposing Ultratech. <laughs> He's more than happy to keep her secret. He's looking like Mr. <laughs> looking like Mr. T, but no, no, no. Uh, Maximilian called him. Yeah, he looks like uh, looks like uh, Kanye. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, man. I'm sure it wasn't the best, you know. But what's this? The hell is this right now? Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry this wasn't the best um, video of uh, TJ Kama. I don't know how to play it as fair. I really don't, but like I said, it was part of Black Hair Club. That was the last video I had. Like I said, this, this was all at the last minute. And I just thought, like, oh, wait, there's a Black Hair I had in mind to play.